Hi there, Jeff Coughlin, Scale Modelling Now. Here's another one of our inbox reviews for you. And as with the others that we do, this is just an opportunity to have a look inside the box, see what you've got in terms of parts, general quality, and I'll try and make any basic observations I can about the kit or indeed anything else that comes to mind that I think would be useful to you if you're thinking of building this particular model. So what we've got here is the PBY 5A Catalina 70 second scale from Revel. It's 03902 as a reference. And in fact, this kit dates back to or can find its origins in an Academy release a while back. But that was a good kit. And so it's really impressive to see that um, Revel have picked it up and have reboxed it uh, with their own decals this time around. So let's have a look at what we've got. Well, what we have are some really crisp sprues. Uh, they don't seem to have suffered at all in terms of any age. Um, really crisp, recessed, recessed panel lines. Let's just take a look here. Lovely wheel hub detail, as you can probably see here, for both the main undercarriage legs and the nose wheel. Um, some little radar um, aerials, perhaps a bit on the heavy side, but you can always have a play with those or thin them out or replace them. Um, decent... Um, other parts, by look at a little bit of flash around the engine cowls there, but again, nothing to get too excited about. But I think the fuselage shape looks really good. One of the nice things about this model, you get some lovely texture uh, that shows on the control surfaces, the fabric uh, for the rudders there, and then you've got those also uh, for the rear sections of the wings and uh, other control surfaces on the tailplanes, elevators, and so on. Um, Moving across here, as you can see, good shape, got that texture. You might just be able to pick that up on the film. And then moving across, decent enough little engines. Uh, the CATS engines certainly are um, visible. And you've got the option there to have either raised or lowered uh, wingtip floats, which are very um, particular for the time and uh, noticeable. So flipping over. Anything else to show you on this side? Just some couple of little uh, control wheels here for the crew positions. A couple of basic guns, which look okay for the scale. Um, moving on up here, we've got, here we go, that's useful. Got some decent um, bulkhead detail here and also detail that will go inside the um, big blisters, gun blisters on the side of the rear fuselage. So that's also uh, impressive. Classic sort of design for the Catalina here. You've got um, main recessed section here on the underside of the upper wing, which joins to the top side, and then that will fit onto um, the outer panels, which you can see over here to the left. Again, got some tidy rivet detail going on there. I think all that's gonna look very good on the completed model. Um, one thing I have just spotted here is you've got little, you've already got the locating, um, top and bottom halves of the, or top halves I should say, of the uh, strut, supporting struts of the main wings. I've never seen them broken down like that before. Um, so it's interesting that you, well, you obviously can't misposition them in terms of where they need to go. Maybe that's a good thing because essentially what it seems to me you need to then do is coming over to this sprue here, is simply cut out and insert the supporting arms and assuming you get contact at both ends, the upper wing here, and then coming over here, you can see the molded parts of the fuselage. Um, assuming you get contact with both parts, that should end up with a nice square wing. Obviously you're gonna need a bit of tidying up, a little bit of sanding, gluing and sanding of those joins, but okay, it'll be interesting to see how that all works. It might, it might work quite well, in fact. We'll see. When we get to the build, which will be a little bit down the line, but we'll slot it into the schedule and we'll certainly be bringing this one to you. Um, what else have we got here? Clear parts, just bring them over here. Beautifully clear parts. Uh, can't fault those at all, and assuming they fit well, um, happy days as far as those are concerned. Finally, we're left with the decals. We'll zoom over to the decal sheet. We've got this one skin that's offered, I think, in the kit, uh, which as you can see here from the instructions, is 203. And let's just see where that relates to. It's got that overall dark, well, so actually no, there are a couple of options. Uh, are there, no, no, same kit. Uh, oh no, there are, there we go, pass, there we go. Um, okay, 
So, first option, um, US Naval uh, Aviation Reserve, Naval Air Station, Glenview, Illinois, 1947. So that's a post-war job we've got there. Um, marked up 203, and that's got that overall sort of, looks like glossy sea blue by the look of it. Uh, but obviously check the instructions and colors for that. And then you've got a slightly uh, different scheme here. This is a wartime job, which um, is also, but this one's from Alaska, which is quite interesting. Uh, again, a PBY 5A, of course, with the undercarriage to denote that. 61 Squadron, US Navy, Umnak Island, Alaska in 43. And I'm not sure that off the top of my head might be this intermediate blue over gray. I'm not sure, just obviously check your references for that. Uh, but that gives you another slightly different option. And of course, using any aftermarket decals, you could come up with any manner of further options uh, than you have there. The instruction sheet, just while we're into it, is exactly the same as the other standard Revel sheets these days, where you've got these mixes of different Revel colours and uh, a few parts that it's indicating here that, that are not for use, as per usual. And then it's into the build. Um, Quite interesting that immediately one of the things that comes to mind here is the suggestion that you assemble the undercarriage and then insert the complete unit into the um, uh, well uh, here not sure about that um, not sure it'd be really useful to see I, I find it hard to believe that it wouldn't be possible to get all the undercarriage um, support arms in afterwards maybe not which is why Revel is suggesting it that it happens at this stage in the build that's one to check and test because if you can add the support arms and the wheels afterwards then obviously I would because it will make a whole painting and weathering and anything else you want to do a whole lot easier by being able to do that um, and then of course you've got um, the gun blisters on the side the internal gun positions here again it's your option as to how you want to play that one but of course you always have this issue uh, if you've got these guns protruding um, on a model that hasn't yet been painted um, so you've got to think about how to deal with that and it might just be easier to cut off the barrels and then add those again afterwards just here maybe just make a cut here insert the main um, the main gun uh, portion and then uh, just leave the barrels on to afterwards that's one option probably do that when we get to it um, yeah again just having a quick look at the instructions here See that undercarriage would suggest um, we'll need to do a dry fit later that you could add, in fact, add those afterwards, but we'll see. And then you've got all sorts of options here, of course, for how you want to go in terms of various uh, additions for the engines and then the wingtip floats, various antennae, early and late versions, that kind of thing. So just pick your subject and then apply the instructions accordingly. Turn us every for going outside of the options in the box and don't forget to make sure you research as best you can uh, the aircraft you're building and see what various uh, antennae has got. And then of course you've got that wing assembly here which is uh, assembled and then added to the aircraft as we had before. And there we go, that's the, that's the section 34 that deals with the addition of the support arms. Well, my suggestion is a couple of things here. One is I'd be really care, careful to try and use maybe some um, cement, tube cement even for, or slow drying super glue, something, anything that's gonna slow down the uh, adhesion and setting of the join of the upper wing to the fuselage so that you can allow some adjustment time to make sure these struts, support struts, get into an exactly the right position. Um, other than that, yeah, I think it's pretty pretty standard looking at what, what we've got here. So, there we go. That's Revel's reboxing of the PBY 5A Catalina. It looks like a really nice model. The original Cadbury one, I recall, was a decent model too. And uh, it's lovely to see it again, this time in a rubber box. And yeah, can't wait for the build on this one. See you soon.